please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. into penury. But they are still discussing, like our senior comrade said here. We await the outcome of their discussion and we want to also place on record that as much as we are making today a statement, we have a lot of options on the table, including the ultimate option is there on the table. If they hearken, they listen to the voices and the cries of the Nigerian people, then possibly those options will not be deployed. But if they did not listen to that, then we will say that we have to consider those options on the table. One thing we want to say, we continue on hearing that the Kaaba, that the few people, that has cornered trillions and trillions of so-called subsidy. Why is it very difficult for government to identify those cover, those few people that the government always acknowledges? They are they too powerful for government to identify them? I can tell President Bola Tinibu here that if today he comes out and say, we are going to go after all those people who have cornered trillions and trillions of our commonwealth and we are going to bring them to book. I can tell you, even the pains we are hearing now will begin to disappear. But, the camera, but consistently, they continue to talk about them. Amorphous group, we don't know them, and the government can identify them. So we are calling on President Bola Chinibu apart from other things that they are discussing they have to also he has to also of course he say he's a rugged person he say he has gone through the furnace of political uh, struggle and uh, he say he's strong enough let him demonstrate that strength of character and bring to justice those people those groups that we have always had cover few people cover few people how can few people cover we call them trillions and we cannot identify them. And government cannot identify them. And they cannot be brought to justice. Let us first ask President to start the commencement of bringing them to justice. Great Nigerian workers. Great Nigerian workers. Thank you very much. Your name is Selecto. It's not a business, it's not a speaking day. But I want to tell Nigerians that today, the labor movement is reloading. That in the means of abundant place uh, resources, both human and natural resources, God has given unto this country. The working masses, the artisans, they are walloping in abject property. And why are we walloping in abject properties? You can satisfy the needs of the people. But you can't satisfy the greed of the ruling elites, which are very few. And you have seen it. This day you hear that uh, a snake swallow money. That might swallow money. It is not only money, it is the money for education, money for heads, money for to develop the country, going to few hands. And that's why the year is being termed the headquarters of poverty in the world. It's very shameful. We are the only country among the high producing nation that as today we don't have the money of our own it will help us can we continue like this can we continue like this as at last year 
United and U.S. came up. There are 30 million children are not to school and very obvious because their parents are poor. But with the kind of all this attack, the ruling elites represented by Bolatinomu has unleashed on the working masses, which means more people will go into poverty. The same is clear. And our demands are this. One, government should go and repair our rebellions. Is that not so? Yes. Two, government must revive this obnoxious agreement and say no to deregulation. Yes. Is that not so? Yes. Three, government must invest in education yes. and they must revive the system they call commercialization of education. Yes. Four, governments must invest in the welfare of citizens. Yes. This is health sector, education sector, social infrastructure, and all about it. And I want to say this, that this is not the beginning. Believe in TUC, believe in TNFT leadership. We are here to solve the situation. And that's why we are here today talking to Nigerians. That enough of all the day, we have had in the past. We are now on the job. I want to assure you, on behalf of TUC and NSC and the DAF, which is civil society group, that never again any government in this country will take off a right. This country belongs to all of us. Freedom come by struggle. Freedom come by struggle. By struggle. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Was Wobby?